Hi and welcome to Misadventures of a Schizophrenic. I am R.G. Tanner and this is a day in the life of a schizophrenic. So I'm just going to go through and just show you what a normal day looks like to me but keep in mind that every day is different. We rarely do the same thing two days in a row. So here we go. First thing I do is I wake up with my alarm and then I take my medications and quickly get out of bed. I am not one of the people who snoozes. And then I get up and first thing I do is I make coffee. And then the day can really begin. vitamin C. This is a mug that my mom made. So, one of my favorite mugs. My mom made it. Scott getting Dobby ready for his morning stroll. Dobby! 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 Say hello! He is very good at getting in the harness. We'll see you guys when you get back. Alright. I love you! So much. So much. Mwah. Mwah. Mm. Hi. Dobby gets one gourmet treat like this every day. Just one. He can get several other cookies, but only one of the chicken treats. And this one looks like it's one with two stuck together. So you're extra lucky today. Oh, I can't see him. Crunching down on Such a lucky boy. This is my daily battle with technology. You can see I am trying to get ready to write my blog. Something that I get up, I do every single morning. Um, let me see, where, I you can you hand me my phone? It's over there. Today's blog title is, let me see, I have it all written down right here in my phone. Today's blog title is PTA Par Parental Therapeutic Assistance. So I'm going to get cracking on writing that as soon as I can get my computer to open, which is a daily battle, let me tell you. And Scott is trying to get the TV to work and it doesn't want so to work right now. I'm getting ready to do my hair and makeup. I have to kind of do a setup out here at my desk because a lot of the bathroom outlets don't work. So there we are, a little mirror, some hair products. I usually do my hair before I do my makeup. Scott's over there doing puzzle games on his phone.
us doing our last minute scramble before leaving the condo. And today we're, it's Saturday, so we're heading over to my parents' house to drop off these bags of clothes because I think it's my mom's work that is doing a homeless drive for clothes. So we have some clothes, some sleeping bags, some just general stuff like that. And Scott has to do his, you know, his airline check to make sure that he has everything. Yeah. Cell phone, keys, wallet, ready to go, got the bags. The wonders of having a purse is that everything is ready to go and Dobby doesn't really carry anything, so he's good to go. Well, we can get him some saddlebags. I guess we could. Now we are heading off to our favorite coffee shop. It's called Java Joe's. You, know, you can see clearly on the water bottle or coffee thermos. We go here almost every day and you know we get the white rabbit which is white chocolate and raspberry and we take Dobby with us pretty much everywhere we go. This is the infamous Java Joe's. No. And oh, one frozen. Yes. Um, you can kind of see their sign up there, Java Joe's. I'll film it as we're driving by it. And these are the lovely people who keep us caffeinated. And we always get white rabbits. Scott decided to get a frozen one today. I left my hot thermos upstairs, and plus, it's kind of a mildish day. Yeah. So I decided to get a frozen one. And so, if you are ever in Utah and you're craving a coffee, be sure to come here to Java Joe's. They have the best coffee in the entire state. And I suggest getting the White Rabbit. So be sure to check that out next time you're in Salt Lake. Bobby is trying to make his grand escape. Where are you trying to go? We don't know where he's thinking he's going to go. He knows he sometimes gets whipped cream from these people. Maybe he's trying to get into the hut. Where are you trying to go? <laughs> he's got like three of his four legs on the window seal. Dubby! Dubby! <laughs> Thank you, Dobby, for licking the camera. These are the mountains that surround us. They kind of look like a Bob Ross painting at the moment with the clouds. You know, that's one of the beautiful things about living in Salt Lake is the nature that we have. You know, up here we have the mountains. Down south we have the desert. And just to show you, this is the Java Juts hut. Joe's. Java Joe's. See? Java Joe's. It's just a little hut that you drive up to. And Dobby is kind of our captain of the ship, you know, pointing us which way we need to go, and I'm barking at anybody who walks by. This is a little dance that he does when he gets excited. He knows he's going to see Grandma and Grandpa and his best friend Arrow, which is a black lab. He gets really excited. She's about 10 times his size. So I should probably say that there is no such thing as a routine day for us. We kind of just go with the flow each and every day. We just do what we have to do on the docket. There is no specific thing we have to do each and every day. Well, uh, yeah, there is one thing. What's that? Get coffee. Get coffee. That's the only thing that we for sure do every day is get coffee. Well, you, you always get a coffee every day. I don't. Right, yeah, that's true. Right. This is Dobby playing with Arrow. She's very gentle with him. Get her, Dobby. Arrow. Hi. Dobby, come on. It may look like she's being big and strong, but she's all bark and no bite. Yeah. Yep. This is my mom. Doing work. How's it going? It's going well. How's it going with you? Going. 
Getting ready for our paint night tonight. That'll be fun. So you're doing a closed drive for the for the homeless shelter? Well, somebody in the building is doing it, so. Oh, cool. And Dottie's going up and down the stairs. Entertaining watching the puppies, is it not? It's not very exciting. I think it's fun. It's not very exciting in this house. I think it is. Dobby, Dobby. Us at the park. Dobby. Dobby's absolute favorite place in the world. Uh oh, where'd the ball go? No. We try to take him here as often as we can. We haven't been able to take him recently because there has been so much snow and it's been frigidly cold. But today is a decently warm day in terms of winter days. So here we are at the wonderful park. And Dobby is having the time of his life. He hasn't been here in so long. And off he goes. 